Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. In the last episode, we started on the quest, Rise in the East. The East Empire Company is being harassed by a group of pirates and would like me to help shut them down. If I do, the Windhelm office can reopen, and there should be some money in it for me. Report back to Orthus, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to head back to Windhelm, where Orthus is waiting in the East Empire Company building. Ladies and gentlemen, we just have, like, oh man, we only have, like, some side quests to do. <sighs> I'm trying to think of all of the things that we have left to do. It's really, it's really coming down to just side quests, though, mainly. We still have some miscellaneous things here and there to do. Not literally I'm miscellaneous, I'm sorry. because we're going to be missing sorry a lot of those, enough. most likely. There's a lot of gold at stake here, and sniveling isn't going to get it back. I've got a top man on the job right now. He should be returning any moment. This must be him, then. Finally, someone around here that can get things done. Since we're short on soldiers, you'll be coming with us, too. No arguments. Anything else you want to say? Their leader is a battle mage named Haldin. Haldin? I've heard of the man, but never guess he'd join up with some pirates. This could be even more dangerous than I thought. Head to the ships. We'll plan the assault on the way. All right, well, I, I think I have a say in whether or not I, I leave with them, but, you know, we'll, we'll help them out, I guess. I don't like people telling me I have to, though. By the way, I always thought this was funny. Like, this building, there's nothing inside of it. Nothing at all. I understand they're going through hard times, but... Come on, man. A broom, a table, a bucket, a wagon, for some reason. The lightest wagon in the world. Look at this. This thing moves more than uh, the bucket does, or this cup. Doesn't make, yes. doesn't make much sense. Or I guess tankard. Sorry. Alrighty. Let's see. Looks like we need to talk to this guy and head over to Jaffet's Folly. Or Jaffet's Folly. You're the one who's coming to Jaffet's Folly with us, right? You ready to go? Let's go. All aboard. So this is one of the cooler quests, just simply because it involves some specific things. Anytime you, ha anytime you have to actually travel somewhere is wonderful. I specifically remember that quest in Oblivion where you have to... Uh, travel to a little island, the prisoner's island. Is this boat actually moving? No. Was it moving? I guess not. Yeah, I was gonna say. It <laughs> doesn't seem like Bethesda to make a boat that actually moves for a bit. Although, when you enter Solstein for the first time, doesn't it swing around? I think it does, right? I'm waiting. What's the plan? Well, here we are, we think. Have we reached Jaffet's Folly? Hard to say. The weather's taken a bit of a turn here. Haldun's been known to obscure his hideaways with magic. If we take care of him, the way should be clear to properly assault the island. Is that my job? You've shown yourself useful so far. All these lunks are too afraid of Haldun to head in before the fog's cleared. So, if you're willing to perform one more service for the company, we could put this matter behind us for good. Take out Haldun, and we'll handle the rest. You guys are afraid of a mage? Kill Halden, really? But he's all the way over there. Am I supposed to just swim in the ice-cold water? Screw all of you. You all are very lame and just... You, there's no bravery among amongst any of you. You're terrible. If you were in Game of Thrones, you would not be called the Brave Companions. Even though, yes, before someone comments, I know that the Brave Companions are not really all that brave. Uh, okay. So, let's go ahead and kill that man Halden then. Let's make sure we have everything that we want. Cyclone has proven to be kind of lame. So, we're going to go ahead and unfavorite that. Make sure that we don't have anything here that we don't want. I think that's all good. We need to remember to use Secret of Protection. That's going to be amazing. Uh, let's get Conjure Jamor Lord in our left hand and Mirax Sword in our right. Also, do we have... A filled black soul gem, or a filled black star, I should say. Yes, we do. Wonderful. There we go. Great. Okay. And soul tear. I need to activate soul tear so that we can fill that baby up once more. Okay, that looks like a little cave. Aha! I don't remember a cave. I thought there was to see cave. Okay, I'm not going to spoil any part of this quest since it's one of the more interesting side quests. But I could have swore it was different here. I don't remember entering the sea cave where we have some mud crabs waiting around. I think our one-handed skill is at around 86. Ah! So let's go ahead and get some more points towards 100. 
That would be wonderful. In the chest, we have a flawless sapphire, which we are not going to take because we only take diamonds. I've seen a comment that I see a million times recently um, saying that you take garbage, but... Oh, that reminds me. Someone said I took some flutes. Do I really have flutes in here? Yeah, I took two flutes, apparently, at some point, and I don't remember why. Someone made a comment saying, in a future episode, why the hell do I have flutes in my inventory? Yeah, that's pretty much right. I don't know why. Uh, anyways, yeah, people were saying, uh, well, I get a comment all the time saying, why do you take X, but you don't take all of these flawless gems? Um, don't worry about it, you know? We, we got more than enough money, like I say a million times. We got more than enough money. We, we don't need to take everything. I take the I take mainly the enchanted stuff just to see if I uh, could use the enchantment. Okay, we'll use close wounds just to see if I can disenchant the enchantment to use on future stuff. That's why I take mainly crap and then end up dropping it in the future. As far as gems, I don't take them because we really don't need the money. But I have been taking all of the flawless diamonds, and we will sell those every chance that we can get. Uh, in fact. Since someone recently also said that, remember that we do have the, uh, where is he at? Isn't it in Conjuration, the Black Market? Did I miss it? Bone Man, Jamor Lord, Atchmac, Miss Man, Seeker, Wrath Man, Flamethrall, Flaming Familiar? Is it not here? Is it an alteration or something? It's called Black Market, I believe. We should have it. I don't think it's a power. Oh, it is a power. Okay, great. Yeah, let's go ahead and use this guy, even though he only has 2,000 gold, which is really not going to amount to much. But we will sell him our... Where are they? Flawless diamonds. There we go. Okay. Oh, he was actually able to buy all of them. Not too bad. All right, see you later, buddy. Ah, sweet oblivion, soon. Okay, more lockpicks are always welcome, as are potions of ultimate healing. We find so many, they just supplement all the ones that we use. All right, let's enter sneak and be very, very careful as we head into Jaffet's Folly Towers. We're looking for a battle mage named Halden, which is quite interesting because they don't mention the term battle mage too often in Skyrim or in the Elder Scrolls. Maybe in Oblivion, though. I feel like they mentioned Battle Mages a lot in Oblivion. It was also a class that you could pick, I think, in Morrowind as well. And probably maybe even the earlier ones. I have not played anything before Morrowind just yet. But we definitely will at some point on the channel. Uh, anyways, in Skyrim, you don't pick classes this time around. So, I don't know. I just It seems odd that they've mentioned a Battle Mage in Skyrim. I, don't, I can't think of one other instance. But I'm sure you guys are going to provide anecdotal evidence that they have said Battle Mage before in the comment section. Which is cool. Um, it's just something that uh, I haven't really thought about too much in my time. What was that? Boom! Sneak attack damage. It's not every day that we get that off. Okay, we're gonna soul tear this guy to fill back up our black star. Just need to weaken him, weaken him a bit more. Okay, let's go ahead and kill him. Let's go ahead and kill. No, not. I don't have things to sell right now. Uh, soul tear. Okay, come over here, sir. There we go. You are mine. You are a pretty powerful soul as well. So go ahead and fight your friends. Go! Oh, we haven't seen that execution before. That was cool. Okay. Nice job, Adrenoch. An old dog can learn new tricks. I will take the iron arrows and the random gold. See, right there, people always criticize me for taking, like, yeah, five gold, which really, sure, is not going to amount to anything in the future. I understand, but it's just a habit. It's a force of habit, just like not picking up gems are. And that's not really efficient, I understand, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. We can put it out of our minds and focus on bigger and better things. Okay, looks like our battle mage is somewhat close, maybe perhaps even right through this door. We're going to continue to remain in sneak, and Look at that, we got a sneak attack off, and we still didn't get a level up in sneak. So lame. Okay, requires key. That goes back out to Skyrim. We will no doubt get the key from Halden, the battle mage. I just want to see what he uses. 
This is a great learning opportunity for Adronach to see what a battle mage uses. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow your roll. I think we can go ahead and recharge this. And in the meantime, let's also heal ourselves. I'm hearing more shuffling of feet, but I'm not seeing anything. Okay, let's recharge Mirak's sword with the black star. There we go. I also get a bunch of comments asking why I use the black star when I could... Or why I use Mirak's sword when I could use something a little bit more suited to us. With more damage, maybe. And the answer is simply that it's applicable. It makes sense to use Mirak's sword as Adronaut. It's, it's more of a lore thing. It's more of a character thing. Which I like. It makes for a better Let's Play, I think, rather than just going for the ultimate build. Like, how boring is that, you know? Anyone can make an ultimate character. It's Skyrim. It's not an online game. It's, it's easy. It's not Dark Souls, you know? Which is actually still pretty easy to make an ultimate character. You just need time. You just need to not suck total ass at it. Okay, here we have Halden. Uh, let's go ahead and use Secret of Protection going to reduce the damage dealt to us by half um and we will just i suppose <laughs> speaking of dark souls i just wanted to press y to two hand this weapon but we can't so we'll just go after him uh, while he's attacking his former blood worker who is now dead let's see how much damage halden does to us since we have that buff he's not doing anything to us man oh he's he's punching i guess he really is a battle mage but I think we know who the better mage is, Halden, unfortunately. Nice try, buddy. Porker meat, Jaffet's Folly key, and nothing much else. Before we leave, let's search his little base of operations here. And see if Halden has anything of interest. Can't really take those silver ingots because we are running very low on space here. We're going to need to return to Riverwood very shortly, as I said in the previous episode. We have a big old chest here with another flawless diamond, some gold, some lockpicks. What was that? Pretty sure we have the uh, un turn undead enchantment. Okay, let's see if there's anything at all that we can disenchant. Probably not. No. All right. So, looks like that is it. Pretty easy. Halden was... An unarmed man, which is interesting. You don't really see unarmed people. I, I don't think we did anything to remove his weapon. I think he literally just came at us with fists. And that's quite rare, I think, at least in Skyrim. In Morrowind and Oblivion, it's less rare. I remember a specific... God, what was it? Dark Brotherhood quest? It's either a Dark Brotherhood quest or a Thieves Guild quest. I think it's a Dark Brotherhood quest where you have to go after Khajiit. Hey, speaking of Khajiit. Uh, Khajiit? Yeah. Uh, you have to go after a Khajiit that uses unarmed. It was quite interesting, because you don't really see them too often. Okay, what are we doing now? Report back to Adelasia, which is fine. But these guys are just dying so dang easily. I kind of want to just murder them all, you know what I mean? What is happening here? What are these exploding mortars? I don't think we came equipped with those on our ship. Ooh, you are quite burly, aren't you? Okay, I'm gonna waste the rest of my charge on you. And then I'm gonna go ahead and charge this back up. With the black star. And I will tear your soul. I will rip your soul from your body. Wait, hold on before I before I uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and do that now. Like I said, let's go ahead and do that now. I don't want to use a power. Gotcha! Oh, what a lowly little bandit. That's cute. Are you shooting an arrow at me, sir? Do you think that's wise? Okay, in you go. Alright, I think we need to kill everybody else here before we can talk to Adelasia. So let's go ahead and move towards this dude since the other dude's in the water. Maybe our allies will zap them. Are they all mages? Is that what the blood workers are? Yeah, there's the boat that's shooting some mortars over. You can see them launching some every now and then. But where are they emanating from? Do you see any mortars on the boat? I don't. And it seems to be over now. Okay, Adelasia, you're probably not going to talk to me right now because there's still people trying to kill us. But, just in case you will... You've got an arrow in your shoulder, by the way. Nope, looks like, yeah, we need to kill these people. Okay, blood horkers. Is this your tactic to just swim towards me? And down you go. And then we have one more dude over here who's also in the water. 
Sir, hello. I'm here to kill you. I'm here to end your life. Oh, okay. Sir? Uh, excuse me, sir. Where, where'd you... Hi. Can you, uh, go ahead and get up for me? Can you get out of here? There we go. I'm gonna need you to do... Can you walk over here? Sir, I want to challenge you to a, a duel with honor, okay? Remember that? Remember honor? Yeah, I can't really kill you if you're in the water, can I? I'm gonna need to soul tear him the moment he gets on land. Come on, over here. Don't you have some sort of... Boom, right in the face. Oh, man. Yeah, we sold here. We soul teared his face right off. We soul tore his face right off. Okay, that should be everybody. Let's hop back up here. There you are. Hey, how's it going? I've killed Halden. Impressive work. We started the attack once you made the fog scamper away like that. Hope you didn't catch any of the fire. We can head back whenever you're set. They're celebrating to be done. Are you ready to go? Let's go. All aboard! Yeah, something tells me you didn't really care so much about my well-being because you kind of launched that mortar attack immediately and I was in the thick of it. One could have literally just landed on me and killed me. Not in the, not, not in the game's terms because I have too much health, but you know what I mean. Speak to Orthus. I forget what we get from this. I would assume since it's an East Empire Company quest, it's just going to be a lot of gold. I don't think we get a unique weapon or piece of armor or anything like that. Give those pirates what for. The pirate haven has been destroyed. I can't express how much easier you've made my job. Maybe Adeliza will finally ease up, but I expect she won't. Ah yes, your pay. The company thanks you for your services. Should we ever be able to help you, stop by. Are you kidding me? 1,500 gold? That's it? For this very unique and semi-long quest? I can't thank you enough for what you did. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Because you thanked me enough, but now I need more. So I guess you didn't thank me enough, in fact. Well, that's super duper lame. Um, I don't know if there's any... Maybe if we give them time, they'll, they'll rebuild or something. I don't think so, though. 1,500 gold just seems incredibly low for our current level. Yeah, that's super duper lame. Um, I'm going to go ahead and activate this farm over here since it's very close. And I want to see what its name is. What do we got? Lalu Farm, that's right. We have another farm right over here. And then a shack. And then a barrow. I don't think we'll, we'll get all of them. But we'll at least get the two farms. And a camp over there. Interesting. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is that for that quest. Quite uh, anticlimactic, but we needed to beat it nevertheless. We're going to do a brand new quest now, one of the coolest ones, and hopefully we didn't do it already. Looks like we didn't. We're looking for Frostmere Crypt, which apparently is somewhat near Dawnstar. I'm not exactly sure where it's going to be. It looks like it's somewhat near the top of this mountain, so we're going to travel to the Lordstone and hope that we see some sort of barrow icon that we have not discovered because that holds one of the more unique side quests as well and this is going to be the last episode this is the last jeez louise you want me to kill you all all right that's fine hey don't get up no don't get up okay sir hold on i'm just gonna get you down okay there we go wait one second sir gonna go ahead and recharge my sweet ass sword and now if you don't mind I'm going to tear your soul from your body. There we go. I love how it launches them back. So cool. All right. Let's see. There's a barrow in that direction. We've got a mine, but like I said, we're looking for a barrow. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at our map and see. Yes, we need to go north. So that is what we want, I think, in the distance there. Uh, as I was saying when we traveled over here, this is the last episode where we're just sort of winging it. Um, I'm going to have some time. Uh, tomorrow at the day that I'm recording this to be able to sit down and I think I'm gonna go through every single quest and see what we've done strike it off the list I'm gonna make a list and I'm just gonna make a huge list of what we have to do I'm gonna do that tomorrow so um, yeah I, I knew there were a couple of quests that we could do I knew there there was the East Empire training ah! company and there is this one uh, that stuck out to me because they're quite interesting but yes I'm gonna make a roadmap 
for the next episode. I know I've said that before, but um, I never really actually had to. Right now, it seems like we're getting to the area where I have to sit down and figure out exactly what we have left. Because after this quest right here, I really don't know what we should do. I really have no idea. So I will at some point. Why are you all so low health? Okay, that was extremely satisfying. Who was that? Someone just talked and they had a unique name. Who in Dagon's name are you? Speak, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Yeah, okay. Let's just see about that. Huh. Suit yourself. Really? You're just gonna attack me, Isa Blackthorn. Okay. Well, you threaten me first. You are strong, that is true. But I'm gonna soul tear you just like all the others. What do you think about that? Eyes of black going. You are quite strong. You have quite a bit of damage to you. It's nothing. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. And you heal yourself. How lame. Come on. Okay, one more hit. We are routed. Yeah, that's right. You are routed. Now give me one second. Yeah, how did that feel? Let me know, because you're my servant now. Go ahead and rise up. Okay, I'm going to need to loot you, because you seem like you're pretty unique. So I'll just take a good look at you for a second. Interesting little markings there. Uh, somewhat intimidating. I would put that on a three out of a, as a 3 out of a 10 uh, on the intimidation scale. I think you've just got some normal uh, Nordic armor, looks like. And a pouch. What's that pouch for? What's in that pouch? Do you have a unique letter or something? We'll wait it out, and we'll see. Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, um, I did have enough for this episode, but I'm going to need to figure out what the roadmap is for the future episodes, and I will be doing that tomorrow. Kier's Bounty, what is this? Kill Isa and Rajir, Rajir on sight. 100 gold to whoever brings me their head. Spread the word, Kier. Interesting. And they're probably all going to have that. Oh, maybe not. There's one more body we didn't loot, and it's this guy. He has the note. Okay, yeah, we want to head to Frostmere Crypt, which is right here in relation to Dawnstar, if you're following along with this Let's Play. And uh, inside lies a very interesting quest, but we're going to wait till Isa Blackthorn dies so we can loot her, uh, loot her ash pile and see if she has anything unique. Probably not, so in fact, we can probably go ahead and enter. Let's go into Frostmere Crypt. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how many side quests we have left, but I will figure that out tomorrow. It's going to take probably... Two to three hours of sitting down and going through all of the quests because they don't separate them from the miscellaneous garbage that we're not going to do. Like, they'll put this quest that's amazing in with, like, go turn in the necklace to this person, it, you know? So I'm going to have to sift through all of that and see what we've got left. Ice's journal. Let's see how long it is. We started the quest, the Pale Lady. This journal is quite long. But it's regards to this quest, so I think we'll go ahead and read it. Left the White River Gang this morning with Havyar's things on our tail. Wasn't a thugs on our tail. Wasn't a bad gig, but it was time to move on. Rajir and I weren't getting anywhere with him in charge. I'll never understand how he does it. I couldn't find so much as a rumor in Windhelm while Rajir stayed outside the city, got wasted on moon sugar, and still managed to find us a lead. Some gang out Morthal way. They're holed up in an old ruin, digging it out in between raids on the caravans. Joined up with Kier's band, their treasure hunting dig is a disaster. Three months of work have barely cleared a single hall, and six men have died from the cavens. I've taken charge of the dig while Rajir is leading the raids topside. Maybe that year in Sidna Mine will pay off after all. Hey, we've been there. You'd think a man who could swing a sword could use a pickaxe, but these louts are exhausted after barely an hour. No wonder this tunnel's taking forever. I've set up round-the-clock shifts and ordered double rations, rations for the best diggers. That'll give them some incentive. Night shift woke me to say they'd hit something big. Kier, Rajir, and I went down to take a look. It's huge, like a whole forest was just swallowed up by the earth, with a big old monument out in the center. Kier took the sword from it as a trophy, proof his whole plan was finally paying off. For once, he might be right. Rajir's been having nightmares over the past few days. He keeps muttering about a pale lady, one of those swamp women who steal children away at night, I think. To think some fool story could turn the toughest bandit I know into a cowering kitten, frightened of his own shadow. I'm just glad none of the others see him like this. It's getting worse. Rajir can barely stand sleep at all now, and whenever he dozes off, he wakes up screaming. Woke the whole place last night. He says the Pale Lady is coming for us. She's down in the forest. We have to return the sword, or she'll kill us all. Not a chance. The boss clings to that thing like he was born with it. 
I've told everyone Rajir just had a fever, but this can't go on. I pulled a few things together. I'll slip out tonight and never look back. So I'm glad we killed Isa. She seemed like a terrible person. Thank you. And yeah, steel, imperial stuff. Okay. Yes. The Pale Lady. Outside Frostmere Crypt, I found a group of bandits attacking one of their own. It seems she was implicated when one of her friends stole a sword from the leader of the gang. Find the stolen sword. Optional. Learn more about the theft in Frostmere Crypt. Well, we do whatever we can to learn all of the optional stuff. Roger was always dragging her into things. But stealing the boss's sword? Did he have a death wish? Who knows? The cat was crazy. She was a fool to trust him. Okay. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, Oh, man, you got out of the way and let your friend take the brunt of that? Jeez, man, not cool. And you're going to die still. Yeah. How about you, bandit outlaw? Are you? Oh, you're just going to stand there, huh? Well, that works for me. Whatever way you want to die. Okay, we need to loot everybody to complete that optional objective, just in case they have a journal of some sort. Also, we need to pay special attention to all of the tables. Ooh, there we go. Kier's bounty. We already read that one, though. Yeah, this is reminding me of Pine Watch with all of the uh, same notes. And the Argonian has nothing. We have a chest in here, which might give us a level up in lockpick. Yes, indeedy. Okay, we'll take the Black Soul Gem just in case we soul tear somebody when we already have a filled Black Star. Thank you. And looks like that's about it. We'll take the Snowberries. And there's nothing else here. I'm not exactly sure how to fulfill that optional objective, but we will figure out a way, hopefully. Further in we go. Oh, looks like we have two little map markers here, so I guess we'll... It'll just lead us to it. Uh, Potion of Vigorous. Nope, I need ultimate. The door is barred from the other side. Looks like we're heading this way. We need to loot this person behind us as well when she collapses. And there she goes. Follow Kier and Rajir into the tunnels. We will do just that. Oh. How does this guy not see us? <laughs> okay, there we go. Finally a sneaking grease. Well, I'm going to go ahead and soul tear you and fill up the uh, black soul that we just got. You need to remember to do that as well. Alright. You're coming with me, buddy. Let's go through the adept door here. See what lies within. Ooh, some glass boots, an armory. Pretty cool. It's just, I don't know. It's not a problem with the game. It's just, this is cool. This would be cool in a normal game if you finally found access to an armory, but weapons are so prevalent in Skyrim, like, that doesn't mean anything unless you just started the game, you know? And I guess you came to this quest first. I don't really know. Like, what, what situation would finding that little armory there be a good thing? You know what I mean? Okay, who do we have yeah, over here? Ooh, here. looks like we're going to learn more. Dragon plate shield. Interesting. That's kind of rare. Too heavy for us, though. Okay. We have Kier's Log. We will read this, and then I think we'll end the episode. Okay, Frostmere Crypt, week 12. What a disaster. We haven't seen a caravan in a week. We actually lost ground in the tunnels. Thal and his team were crushed when their section collapsed. I've heard word of a mutiny. If next week isn't any better... Week 13. Two new recruits, Isa and Rajir. Girl said she did time in Sidna Mine down in Markarth, and it shows. She's got more experience than all of us put together. She still died just as easily. I've put her in charge of the dig. Cat's good with the blade, so I've sent him topside with the raiders. Week 14. Tunnels going well. Isa made our first big find yesterday. Buried chest with a couple of hundred gold. Topside, Rajir and his team have... Hit five merchants this week, in and out faster than the guard could respond. Looks like things are finally going my way. Week 15. The tunnel broke out into some kind of giant cavern. There's a whole forest down there. Found a nice sword all laid out on some kind of monument and everything. But this is just strange. Eerie. What is this place? Not like any tomb I've ever seen. Week 16. I think the cat's gone crazy. All of a sudden he can't focus, keeps muttering to himself. He's gone from our best raider to our worst botch. Two jobs today. 
Ice is trying to cover for him, but she's not fooling anyone. Lately, he keeps asking to see my sword, begging to borrow it, like I'll let him get his paws on it. It's beautiful, perfectly balanced, better than any I've ever held. Sure, he can have it. Right in the gut. Okay, well, there we go. We've learned more. And now we need to go that way. Yeah, calm down, buddy. It's not that bad. We're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't mention this too often, but liking the video does help extremely. Uh, I, I did mention it at the outro for a while there, but I don't like doing that. So I think I'll just mention every now and then. Uh, liking the video is the best thing to do, and it's also extremely quick and doesn't cost you anything except for a click of the mouse. So thank you guys to everybody that likes the video, and thank you to everybody that enjoys the video. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.